This Lumi Baron captured video of squirrels interacting <laughs> on tiny sets that she All right. created in her backyard. Inspired by children's books, Baron wanted to capture the squirrels participating in human activities. Right. So when she got stuck inside due to the social distancing and the coronavirus, she found herself with even more time <laughs> to catch watch her backyard buddies. Baron oh, says man. observing squirrels' chosen behaviors like snacking and reading <laughs> reminded her how where she's spending her time right now. So she has got a lot of time on her hands. Oh, man. Did you, <laughs> I mean, I love it. You had, well, it's ketchup. And, you know, I, why did they ever decide to call it ketchup? I never knew, but it's ketchup. But then they had, did you see Br'er Rabbit molasses? No, I didn't see Br that. <laughs> Br'er Bear and Br'er Rabbit, I guess, are making products now. And they've got Br'er Rabbit molasses. I did not know that. Zip that's probably doo -doo -doo right. zip -a. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, that's I love a, that. I mean, I love watching little squirrels. And I'll, I just don't want squirrels around my tomatoes. That's what I don't they want. Do like to get in your tomatoes. They do indeed. So, but fortunately, two cats helped me out. <laughs> Got two cat guards. <laughs> While the world grapples with the COVID-19 problem, one continent remains free from infection, and that is Antarctica. The coldest place on the earth is considered the safest place in the world. Okay. It has no confirmed cases. And as winter comes, it should stay that way. The 5,000 scientists and researchers who live there say that's a big relief. Yeah, again, that's all that live there. I mean, they're scientists and researchers, I would imagine. But, I mean, well, the penguins, we can't forget the penguins. Uh, they're safe, too. Yeah, I guess so. Well, that's, uh, that's good to hear. At least we know we have one safe on the con well, some <laughs> Before we go safe place the on the continent. Right. We just have to bundle up and make sure we, uh, we can weather it. Well, they probably are saying no visitors. Don't be bringing well, that's that probably to us. True too, you stay yeah. over there until this is over with. Yeah. Well, if you're a regular <laughs> Lifestyles viewer, you know that Ron and I like to talk about oh, food. Yeah. We like to think about food. We eat food. <laughs> like eat food. Yeah, without a doubt. Food. Well, tonight, my husband, George, George and I at 7 o'clock will be the guest of the Q crew. Oh, cool. Leslie Morgan Ling, Ryan O'Brien, and Travis Sams. And food will be the topic. We'll be preparing appetizers at the same time on Zoom. Now, George has made baguettes, so we have to share a recipe we learned in France. Okay. So be sure that you tune in. Uh, now, I will tell you this. It's not going to be Beanie Weenies wrapped in oh, bacon or any man, of that stuff I've been reading <laughs> on there. So 7 o'clock tonight, join Leslie and the Q crew and George and, us, George and I from our kitchen okay. as we prepare appetizers. So you go to their Facebook page. I was say, who, where you, Facebook page, and yeah. then we have it on your link on your Facebook page, too? Well, I will do that. Yes. Do that. That'd be a good idea. And that way, yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. But don't knock Beanie Weenies with bacon, because I'm telling you what, I mean, one of the best compliments I've ever gotten was going to a Super Bowl party. Had little Smokies wrapped in bacon, put a little uh, brown sugar on it, let it caramelize the oven. Those little Smokies wrapped in bacon, which are Beanie Weenies, basically, without the beans. <laughs> We're a big hit, Angie. I bet but Susanna not as Dickman good as won't be saying that. No, I know she would. <laughs> At our next I know she would. Well, it'll be fun tonight, <laughs> and the rest of the show is going to be fun, so stick around. Yeah.